Hey everyone, it's Jacob with Team Bass Singer Disc Golf Channel, and this is my 2021 in the bag video. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Channel, and this is my 2021 in the bag video. Um, this year I'm sponsored by multiple sponsors. I've got um, Basing Your Disc Golf Channel, This Dot, uh, Wicked Aces Disc Golf Channel, Pat Pinning Disc Golf Shop, and Gravity Disc Golf Shop. Um, if it's okay with Josh, I'd like to put the um, my coupon codes on there if that's okay with him cool. uh, in the description. So basically my bag has changed a lot from last year. If you remember this bag in my video, it was all Prodigy. And that's completely changed now. So let's start in the bag here. I got my sweet Team Base Circuit Disc Golf Channel vinyl on this. This is a BP1 version 3, not the new one with the Velcro. But if we start in here and look at our drivers, right here I have a Proto Run Paul Macbeth Hades. It's 174 weight. Um, this thing is perfect for those awesome, if I throw it flat it will turn right and keep going right with very little fade at the end or no fade. Um, perfect for someone who doesn't have a whole bunch of confidence in long forehands. And this is exactly what I use it for. It even is a great roller as well. Um, it works great. I read this what made me change from all prodigy. Uh, I like how it flew a lot better than the D4. Uh, that's what I wanted the flight of the D4 to be like, but this one does it exactly like I want it every time. The next I got is this beautiful Paul Macbeth Zeus. Um, these are what I throw for my overstable drivers. It's what I can rely on. It's not going to flip on me unless there's like an extreme headwind. This is what I throw for those. I need it to go straight and hold that line and trust it and to have a small fade at the end. This is my trusting disc. I have a lot of trust in it. Something I don't feel like I had in my last bag was trust, and this, this changed that. Next I have this uh, Nuke. It's, I was hoping for it to fly just like the Zeus, but this thing is a lot more stable uh, than the Zeus. Um, of course, I got it when my arm broke, so I couldn't really throw it and really put power behind it. So we'll see whenever I'm allowed to throw again how this thing really flies from me. But I'm assuming it'll fly like the Zeus, just a tad bit faster. Uh, so it'll go just a little bit longer, which would be great for really, really long drops. Next is something that I didn't think would ever be in my bag, and that is a uh, Axiom Disc Mayhem. All these with the rim are MVP to me, but that's incorrect. Don't let Josh tell you different. Um, this thing has actually really surprised me. It's a bomber of a disc. Um, big, huge pop top on it. I throw this flat and it holds that line and actually will turn to the right. Some I've gotten this out to like 420 before, easy. It's it's just a bomber disc. And I would actually recommend really trying the Mayhem from Axiom Disc. Next I have this in my bag. I don't know how long it's going to stay. This is a uh, Battalion Team D2. Um, my dog kind of chewed it a little bit here so I had to do some surgery on it. Um, but it's still, it's still fine. This thing is a lot more flippier than I probably would like it. Um, it flies a lot like the Mayhem. Um, so it's kind of like if I lose the Mayhem, this is what I'm going to throw instead. Or if something happens to the Mayhem where I can't throw it anymore, this is what I'll be throwing to replace it. Next I have one of my sponsor discs. Uh, this is from Gravity Disc Golf. This is a D3. Um, beautiful spectrum colors in it. Um, I haven't been able to throw it yet, but I'm going, it's going to be in my bag. If it flies like a D3, like I expect it to, it'll have a far, it'll be turning to the right a lot more than what the D2 does in the Mayhem. So it's for a really woodsy disc, um, great for wood shots, tunnel shots that you need to rely on something. Um, just a beautiful disc, check out Gravity Disc. Awesome logo. Next I have a Prodigy Proto D2. Uh, this thing isn't as flippy as the other D2 or the Mayhem. It's kind of like in between that and like the Zeus, which is what I like for some shots. It's great for forehands. It's real flat. Um, absolutely love it for forehands. It feels great. It throws great. It has actually a little indention, I think, it's just from where the plastic is, where it feels great for your thumb 
right here. Just an awesome forehand disc. And the swirls on that thing are just nasty. Nasty swirls. Next I had this OG D1. Uh, this thing is slightly less stable than the Zeus, but flips just a hair. Um, this is actually a bomber D1 for me, Blueberry D1. Absolutely love this for forehands too. It goes about 320. I'm not the best forehand thrower, so this 320 is about my max. But I actually love this for forehands, and if I need to really... This is actually my water disc. So if there's a water, I throw this over the water too. If I lose it, it sucks, but I can find a replacement for it. Next we got our fairways or control drivers. Um, next first one up is a CD3. Flies just like a Zeus. Um, stable like a Zeus, just a little bit shorter. Can really trust it to get some shots done and the woods and stuff like that. Love the CD3. Uh, next is one of the new Nate Perkins uh, Nice Strike 3s. Um, just a tad flippy, not too too understable. Kind of just a dead straight disc is going to go straight whether you want to or not. And uh, if you really put some power behind it, it'll turn to the right just a hair. Um, let's see. Next, I got a big germ Thunderbird. I actually lost an OG um, H3 that I had that would you could throw it on a slot hauser and it would flip up for you and go dead straight. Um, I'm hoping I can get this to be the same way. Once I have my arm heals, I'll throw it, find out. Plus, that thing is just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, swirly Thunderbird. Um, if that's what I want, it's going to be in the bag. It's going to stay in the bag. Next is a Cutago FD3. I expected this to be a lot like a Firebird stability, but it's it's not. It's a little bit less understable than a Firebird. Um, it's not as overstable as far not with such a big meat hook, which is fine. It definitely has a place in my bag, but it's not what I was expecting. But I do like it a lot. Um, it is something that is in my bag. It's great for those straight, the little small hauser shots. Um, very controlled, very easy to use. Next I have this Splatter Star Firebird. This actually replaced the Champion Firebird I had. It feels so much more better in my hand. I felt I found out that the Champion Firebirds it had more of a dome on them and felt really bad in my hand uh, for forehands and felt really sharp on the under rim. So this is my overstable, super overstable fireway driver, which I found that I was missing. Um, I missed a bunch of shots because I would throw something that was too fast um, for the shot I was trying to do and actually overshot the shot plenty of times, especially on open, open courses. I would overthrow a lot of shots because I was throwing something too fast. So I got me a Firebird and this thing is just money to be thrown. I absolutely love it and it's beautiful. Next I have a Onyx. Um, this is very just a very nice controlled driver. If I'm, I trust this to just go out about 300 and fade to the left hard. Um, I just have a lot of trust in this and wooded shots too. I can put it on an angle and trust it to go on that angle. Just a good disc. I like it. Um, this is also a Lone How PD. Um, I can also, this is one of my wood discs, open fairway disc. Um, just a lot of trust in these discs. Um, they're kind of the same flop, but this one is beating a little bit more, so it's not as stable as the Onyx. So this one, I like the forehand better than I do the Onyx. Um, it just feels a little bit more flatter, feels a little bit better. Um, just a lot of trust in these discs. And I found out if you want to have, you gotta have trust on the course if you wanna shoot low. And if you don't trust your disc, you're not gonna have confidence and hit your lines. So, love tearing up wooded courses with this disc. Um, something I don't wanna throw, something too fast. They're great to throw. Uh, they won't get the big, huge skips off trees and stuff like that. This is my Titanium Mantis. Um, this is my forehand fairway driver if I don't have trust in my forehand to get to a shot. This is something I can throw flat on. I actually throw it on a hazard like this and it'll flip and ride or out and won't come back to the left at all. Um, this is my roller fairway. If it's uh, under 300 feet, this is the rolling disc that I'm going to be throwing. This is my, if it's a 250 foot or 300 foot tunnel shot with a, that has to go to the right, low ceiling. This is my, I'm going to backhand this instead of forehanding a disc because I have so much trust throwing this backhand and what it's going to do. 
Something I kind of put in my bag to try and help that replacement of that H3 is also as a zombie. Um, I can just throw it kind of flat and it's going to turn very slightly to the right and then fade back and kind of go straight. Um, I've been told these are the ferry driver buzzes. Um, I don't like it so far. I don't really like the grip of it too much because it says it's a driver so I want to power grip it but it feels like a mid-range but that doesn't feel right either. It's kind of awkward so I don't know if it will stay in the bag. I might just replace it with the um, Thunderbird and it's kind of in between, in between those two so it may or may not make the bag but it, I see the use for it if I need to have it. Moving on to uh, mid-ranges. I have another sponsored disc. Uh, this is from Pat Penning Disc Golf. I actually did a review on my YouTube channel, T-Rex Disc Golf, um, about this disc. It has a little logo here, but this is a 500 MX3, or M3, 500 M3. It's, and honestly, it's not as straight as the M3 should be. It's a little bit more overstable. So I had a Malta in my bag, but that thing was too overstable, and I didn't trust it because I couldn't get it out that far as I needed to because it was so overstable. So this is definitely the replacement for it. It holds straight and has a nice, nice long fade at the end. It's my overstable uh, mid-range in my bag. Um, it feels good. It looks good. And when it gets beat in, it's going to be an amazing straight driver uh, mid-range. Just a great straight mid-range because I had two that I tested. And you can watch that on my video. This is my uh, Dark Horse uh, Brody Buzz. Uh, this is the first Buzz I actually owned. Um, I just was so into project through M3s all the time, but when I got this in my hands and threw it, I realized that I was missing out. Um, this thing just goes dead straight with a very slight fade at the end. Um, if I need to hit a line, I'm going for this, definitely. Uh, and the Buzzes are awesome. You can't go wrong with a Buzz. I kind of in between, this is kind of like a putter or a mid-range, I can't really tell. Um, it kind of fits that range on both. The speed of it's pretty slow like a putter, but it, this thing bombs. Uh, the Page Pure soles absolutely crush. I threw this thing 340 feet the other day. Um, don't tell my doctor. Uh, <laughs> but absolutely great disc for beginners or anyone that needs that overstable, understable mid-range. Uh, you throw it flat, a little hyzer, and it's going to go out, turn, and get the full flight. And these things are absolutely bomb. This will be great for woods. I can't wait to use it. Um, I was throwing the PA4 and the M4, and this thing just goes and took the spot of both of those until I can get something to a, a putter, quarter like an understable putter that I can trust to turn when I throw it. So right now this is my understable putter and mid-range, and I like it a lot. Next, I have a Tour Series Paul McBeth Luna. I absolutely love the Luna. You just put it on whatever line you want and it's gonna go that way. It's basically the putter equivalent of a Buzz. I absolutely love this thing. Um, it's great for upshots. You can forehand it, but when you forehand it, it's got more torque to it, so it actually will flip on you if you forehand it. So just be careful when you do that. But uh, this is mostly my backhand backhand upshot disc and I actually drive with this thing. It, it also bombs for a putter. Um, absolutely love the Palm Beth Tour Series Luna and they're gorgeous swirls in these. Next I have a Discraft ESP Zone I got from a tournament. I like it because it has Iron Man on it. Um, zones are great upshot discs. You can backhand them but I really really like forehanding these in the woods. It's just a great shot. The disc you can trust the forehand and it's not going to flip on you. It really handles the torque of a forehand upshot very, very well. Absolutely love these zones. Um, the last thing, I, I don't have anything in my pockets. I do have some stuff up here that I forgot about. So this is my understable putter for really understable shots. It's a really beat in 300 PA3. If I need that understable disc, but not to go far and kind of an upshot, this is the one I'm reaching for. It's it's just, it's it's a great Understable putter. It's been beat up religiously. And next, something new in my bag. It's a Cataplast Berg. Um, it's great for upshots. It goes and it sits. It doesn't skip hardly. There's nothing really to it. It's just a nice little disc. And I really like the thumb thumb groove on it. It feels good for forehands and it feels good for backhands. 
forehands, you have to be kind of touchy with it because it can get away from you and turn over with torque. So it's not the best for really long upshots. I prefer a zone for that for a forehand. But if I needed something that I can trust to just land and stay and not skip all over the place, I'm going to go with this bird. I like it. Uh, that's, I don't have anything in the side of my bags. Um, I've cut down a lot of weight um, from what I did last time. If you haven't watched the video from last time, go back and check it out. These pockets are full. This pocket's full. The main compartment's full. And I, that's, I realized that's a huge... I needed to cut down my bag to help my game and uh, build confidence with the disc I was using instead of trying to fill my bag with everything that was offered to me. Uh, so the last thing I've got is my putting putters, and I've got two uh, Palm and Beth Lunas. I switched from the PA3s because the PA3s didn't glide as much for me as I wanted to. I always was in there pinning the uh, cage on the bag basket. I ended up pinning the cage a lot and I just got really frustrated one day and uh, decided to try something completely new, something without a bead and it has a lot more glide and it feels like it just snaps out of my hand. It was so much easier than the PA3s did. Um, I just like the glide of the, I feel like I don't have to put as much into it to get it to where it needs to go. So that's pretty much my in my bag. Thanks for watching, guys. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Jacob with Team Basic and Disc Golf Channel, and this is my 2021 in the back uh, video. <laughs> you can start again. Every damn time. You know how many takes I do at home? So many takes. Hey everyone, this is Jacob with Team Basic and Disc Golf Channel, and this is my 2021 in the back video. I about messed up again there. You cut it in. Yeah. You want to already start? Yeah. Curse with this tongue of mine. It's too big for my mouth. That's what she said. Anyway, that's got oh, that's recorded. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Jacob. But I hate myself. I really do. I really do. Yeah, after I get it going, it just goes. It just takes me forever to get going. <laughs> do you want to remind people that I beat you three times in one day? No. I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.